I want to start this video by telling you something very bullish. This is the total market cap of all of crypto. Right now, this cycle so far, exiting the bear market, total crypto market cap sitting around two and a half trillion. What do you notice here? Total crypto market cap still has not broken all time high. This is just getting started, everybody. And I think it is so crucial right now to zoom out on these charts. And in this video, I want to talk about total crypto market cap. I want to talk about altcoin season. I found a new indicator that I want to just point out, at least highlight. I think it's really important. And then I want to talk about Bitcoin charts, mainly on the zoomed in, what I'm watching going into this new week. So please hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's jump into the video. We have a lot of volatility. You go to the total crypto market cap on the four hour and it's just like, oh man, what's going on? It's, it's looking so bad. But it's, this is like a healthy retrace. We have red days. We have red weeks. We have red months in, bear, in bull markets, right? And the key for me is to zoom out on the total crypto market cap and realize where we are. I just saw this post on X. Something to remember, it took almost three years to break the previous cycle's total market cap in 2021. If history repeats, we could range until Q4. That is some perspective right there. And just look at this. Zoomed out on the total crypto market cap. This, everybody, if you're a long-term person in crypto and you're not just chasing these short-term gains and, and trying to get a 10x in like a week, this chart is, is such a crucial roadmap and I think so valuable. But if we look at where we are, Bitcoin halving just happened. We're right after Bitcoin halving, consolidating just above the 20 week. Last cycle, very similar area, consolidating just above the 20 week post Bitcoin halving. But let's zoom out. I want to show you something. Look at Bitcoin from a, a, a date perspective, right? From this all time high in 2018 to breaking that all time high, you can just see. Almost 1,100 days. And if we extend last all-time high around 1,100 days, look at this. This is fall of 2024. Just to give you a sense of how long we've had to wait before to, there's a lot of people right now that are like, man, we should be hitting all-time high. Altcoin should be going crazy. Bitcoin should be going parabolic. We should be about 100,000. From a time frame perspective, that is not true at all. There needs to be some pacing here, and, and there needs to be some patience here, at least for me, as I'm looking at the data and looking at these charts. Another thing I wanted to just note, and this I think is, this plays into the bullishness of crypto right now. If you look at total crypto market cap from all-time high of 2018, high, bull market high, to like around this time in the cycle, 63% down, right, at this moment, last cycle. And if we look at all-time high of total market cap to where, where total market cap is now, it's down around 17%. There is a growing force in the crypto space. There is a mass adoption coming into crypto. And we're talking about a time right now, post-Bitcoin halving, where if you go look at Bitcoin you know, on, on the zoomed out weekly chart, do you know what's been happening on this chart just besides price movement? We have Bitcoin spot ETF somewhere back here. I think in March, there was a record over a billion dollars of inflow in one day right there. We had our second largest inflow of Bitcoin somewhere around here towards this entire upper range that Bitcoin's trading right now. And people think that, that, that we're like ending a bull move. I'm telling you, you put all this data together and I truly think things are just beginning. It's just a matter of patience. It's a matter of pacing ourselves. So I want to I pivot over and I want to talk about a little bit about how all coins play into this story. So if we look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, I've, I've, I've done a lot of technical analysis in relation to the Bitcoin dominance chart, previous cycles, post Bitcoin halving, as you know, I talk about it a lot. Here's Bitcoin dominance falling. That's altcoin season. Months later, after a Bitcoin halving. Here's last cycle, Bitcoin halving. Months later, Bitcoin dominance falls. There's altcoin season. Look how dominance has just been falling even through all through the cycles, right? Bear, bear cycle included. You can see Bitcoin didn't even really test this previous swing high. Actually hasn't even tested the lower high Fibonacci. And what that is, is it is a swing high of the last cycle lower high to swing low. And it's just this green rectangle. It's a lower high Fibonacci. Bitcoin hasn't even tested that. It may, but it hasn't tested that yet. 
Here's what I want to talk about. This new indicator I think is, is actually really cool in terms of Bitcoin. If we zoom in and we look at this, check this out. I just noticed this the other day. We have the 20, this is a monthly chart. We have the 20 month moving average getting ready to cross above the 50 month. There might be headlines about this because every time we see a move like this, an indicator like this, whether it's on Bitcoin or an altcoin, man, the 20 months about to cross the 50 month, it's so bullish, right? This could be bullish for Bitcoin dominance to just explode. This is actually why I think altcoin season might very much be just a couple of months away, as we've been saying, end of the summer, around August, maybe early fall. This move right here, check it out. This happened last cycle, a couple of months before Bitcoin topped out on the Bitcoin dominance and altcoin season began. This move is a lagging indicator. Same as this. This is a lagging indicator. This, is, this move is a, is a picture of what just occurred on Bitcoin dominance, right? Same sense back here. This is a picture of what just occurred, but the end is near for that Bitcoin dominance. So I'm not saying it's definite that this is going to play out this way, but I will say in the same way that a 20 week or a 20 month crossing below the 50 month right here, that's not like a, a bearish signal that it's, you know, Bitcoin dominance is about to just really tank. That's a signal right there happening that the bottom is probably in and the worst already happened, right? So this getting ready to happen, it's kind of a signal. Bitcoin dominance did its thing and the top is almost here. And what does that mean? That means likely, in my view, altcoin season. So that's just another perspective to look at altcoin season from. And I, I just, I could be wrong. I, I say that all of the time. I'm just showing you the data. I think it's all coming together, especially as, you know, we're going to see policy changes, I think, that even play into these markets pumping more. This doesn't mean Bitcoin's going to stop pumping. It just means Bitcoin dominance can start falling. Bitcoin could be breaking all-time high, going higher. Altcoins just in percentage gains outperforming Bitcoin. I think that season is right around the corner. I wanted to talk about Bitcoin on the on the on just the daily chart, just a little bit of an update as we go into this new week because there's just certain things I'm watching, just an update on those things. If you watched my last video, we have this inverse head and shoulders with a upward sloping neckline right there. That's For me, that's what I'm watching. Can Bitcoin make it? You can see the confluence even at the at that neckline area just about just below the all-time high of, of Bitcoin. Oh, I'm sorry, just above the all-time high of Bitcoin. So here's the neckline right there. Here's all-time high of Bitcoin. I'm waiting to see if this right shoulder can kind of just complete to the upside. Bitcoin's breaking all-time high. There might be some resistance there, meaning we could put in that right shoulder and just kind of come back down. But that target to the upside is around $90,000. That is in play on the daily. I don't know if we're going to get it, everybody. It's just it's a, a technical pattern I'm watching. You know, we've, we've really talked a lot about the consolidation and the structure that has been in formation here for months now. This is going back to this all-time high back in March. And by the way, that move back in March, the billion dollars of inflow was right around there at all-time high. So is Bitcoin getting ready to make this power move to the upside or... Or, and again, before I say this, I want you to remember, zooming out on the total market cap of crypto, we might have to wait to, towards later of this year to really even see the, the total market cap breaking all-time high. If we're going to repeat last cycle, for instance, the time that we had to wait, but going back to the, the Bitcoin daily chart, is there going to be consolidation to the downside? Maybe we don't get the breakout above all-time high just yet. Maybe we have to wait longer and crypto is actually going to consolidate and go lower. And there's probably going to be peak fear in the markets. Again, it's over. This was a, this was a top for Bitcoin. This was a triple top is probably what, what the headlines will say. And I'm just saying we have the time from a cycle perspective. If we zoom out on the data, we have the time for Bitcoin, total crypto market cap to consolidate further downside if it's going to happen. We have the time for altcoin season to begin. It's only the beginning of June right now. We have, we have months of letting this play out. I'm zooming out on the charts. I know the target to the upside if Bitcoin does continue to go hard, higher. And to the downside, again, I'm just going to continue watching this apex of this rising wedge that we've tracked for some time now, the breakout in February. Breakout to the upside, the throwback to the apex. Now we're waiting for that continuation to the upside. If it doesn't happen, 
what happens at the apex, right? You see on the daily chart, the 50-day moving average is right there around $65,000. The lower trend line is right around $63,000 and the 200-day moving average around 55,000. It's just all room for Bitcoin to consolidate if it wants to. And I'm just, I'm here for it. I'm waiting for it. If that happens, go to a weekly chart. Where's $55,000 on the weekly chart? It's right around here. It's, it's, it would be a normal looking move. And, and I'm just here on the long term tracking these markets. So I'll be here for that move or I'll be here for the move to the upside. So this is what I'm talking about, everybody. This, as we start and get ready for this new week, I think markets are just, they're consolidating. It's healthy. We have the time. It's all about zooming out, letting things play out. And those are my thoughts for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe. I really enjoy doing this content and kind of just sharing my crypto journey with you. That's all this is. It's just me tracking the data. I'm excited about crypto. Turn notifications on. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.